Oh man, Jackie, it's the Golden Globes. I know, the fashion. This is the award show that sets the trends for the rest of the year. It really does. Not only does it set the trends for the rest of the year, but this is the first dirty laundry of the year. I didn't even think about that. Let's get into it. All right, so we have Joey King and Iris Van Herpen in this black and white optical illusion dress. I actually love it. I appreciate someone who really wants to go like fashion couture. I heard her say this is like from the runway. And she did take a risk, so that I do always appreciate because yes. you can always wear a black dress, but she chose to wear a optical illusion. I feel like she kind of reminds me of a slinky. Like a little bouncy ball. It's yeah. making me a little dizzy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like hypnotic almost. Yeah, not my favorite. How do you even describe this? It ha the structure of it is all over the place in a very good way. I love it. It's like geometry class just threw up on her, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But this is the class that I will pass. The first time I saw it, didn't love it. It has grown on me over time. It's giving me like, Clam vibes, but in the best way possible. And Joey King is the pearl of the clam. Yes. I'm getting, I'm getting like vertigo. I feel like the optical illusion is very much there. Like, where does it start? Where does it end? What I love about Joey King, though, is that she's always original. She really wears these outfits that are always like structured mm -hmm. and different. Everything she wears, you've never seen before, yeah. and I think that's really cool. The dress is so out there and unique and interesting, and the shoes are a little bit like. Um, something I would own, which is <laughs> always a problem. If it's something in my closet, they've done something wrong. Don't say that. Her makeup looks great, though. Yes, makeup and hair is everything. Yeah. Her makeup is flawless, per usual. Mm -hmm. I feel like it really does complement the outfit, the black and the, the silver glitter in between. Yeah. It really is a nice contrast with the dress. It goes well perfectly. I do like that her hair is pulled back. She's yep. more of just like having an inner glow mm -hmm. and she's letting the dress really take over. <laughs> Normally when you have a front of a dress looking that structured and that crazy, mm -hmm. the back kind of like, you've done like, so yeah. much work in the front, the back is gonna be simple. The fact that there's a whole other shape in the back as well is incredible. Whoever designed this dress literally took the whole 2019 to put it, it together. It took forever. There's right. no way. Now we have to talk about Beanie Feldstein from Booksmart. Oh, this dress is so beautiful. We are off to a really great start. People tend to keep it safe. Uh -huh. And I really, I'm starting to see all these like structures. I love this dress. I it's love so it too. beautiful. Love the color of this yeah. dress. I love a navy. I love like the, the flowingness of it and the, like the flowers up here that it's off the shoulder. I feel, I don't know, she looks stunning. And I, I didn't know that she was Jonah Hill's sister. I think I, I just found that out today. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Did, do you guys know that? I had no idea. She is glittering head to toe. Exactly. And she's glowing. Like I know. She really is. And I think this dark blue navy color is so beautiful on her, like, just snow white skin. Yeah. This color blue is really nice. I feel like we don't usually see this deep of a blue. Right. It's like ocean, like Titanic, Atlantic, Celine mm -hmm. Dion, my heart will go on blue, you know? Yeah, and I feel like it's very Golden Globes appropriate mm -hmm. as well. Like, it's not like plain boring black. It's this beautiful, like metallic-y navy color. Yeah. So she is standing out and just, I think she looks great. I still love the cat eye. I know that like, People, you and I both have the cat eyes too. Yeah. I know some people are like, no, it's not like the trend anymore. No, I still love it. I will always love the cat eye. I agree. <laughs> in the movie Book Smart, we really see her in a natural state, not a lot of makeup, yeah. like teenager kind of look. So I love that we are seeing her as more sophisticated yeah. and sexy with the makeup. I love it. She looks beautiful, mm. and that hair is. Slick down. Slick. Slick. Mm, I love it. Slick. All right, next up we have Sophia Carson who is in this beautiful pink, feathery, crinoline, chiffon, like puffy dress. She just looks so good. I think this is perfection. And she hosted the red carpet tonight. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Listen, when it comes to dresses like this where they're so big and you can't really see the outline of your body, yeah. they're really hard to pull off sometimes because it feels like they're almost engulfing the person. But come on. She looks, she looks great. Fantastic. Great. It looks like her dress got caught in like a paper <laughs> shredder. This for me is just not hitting the mark. It's a little too overboard. I hate to say loofah, but it kind of reminds me of a loofah and like a tiered cupcake. It also <laughs> looks like it's inside out. It looks like the tool on the inside of a prom dress. Like I just want to like turn her dress inside out and maybe it would look better. I don't know. It looks like a petticoat that a dog ate. Also like Sophia mm. has such a beautiful body and she's so like, 
uh, statuesque that she's almost drowning in this dress a yeah, little bit for I'm, me. That's a good that's a good phrase. She is drowning in this. I love this photo of her. I feel mm. like she just looks so powerful mm -hmm. and just so confident. I feel like she just exudes so much just like I'm here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like a badass moment. It's not that I even hate it because I love the color. Like I think it's a beautiful color. It's a youthful color. I just don't understand what the concept is. You know what, so many of these dresses, I feel as though that pictures just don't do them justice. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, I've been to some of these events before and I always see them in person and I'm like, that's amazing. And then you go home and you look at a picture and you're like, what? It doesn't translate. So maybe this was just one of those that you like really had to see it in motion. Also, I love that she has very minimal eyeliner. Mm -hmm. It just makes her eyes pop. Her eyelashes pop, her smile looks great. Okay, I mean, but her face. Wow. Like, when you have a face like that, I think you could wear a paper bag. Yeah, well, she basically did. <laughs> I love Lucy, and I think she's so gorgeous, and her hair and makeup look very cool, but this dress and those shoes, um, I'm not here for it. She is one of my favorites to watch on the red carpet. She takes major risks, risks. especially with her makeup as well, mm -hmm. but that dress, I mean, it's like, futuristic, Victorian, like it has these beautiful sleeves and this like flower embroidering at the top and her silver like platform heels. Like I applaud anybody who's not wearing something boring and black for sure. Yeah. This is some warrior princess shiz if I've Yo. ever seen it before. Yo, her makeup too. Bomb. She has like, like these little glitter patches on her eyes. Like Euphoria just threw up on yeah, her eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Good. I actually think it's cool. And she's like a fashion daredevil and I like that for her. I will say like I do get like some tin man trash bag vibes. <laughs> the but, like, tin man trash but, bag. But she's serving it. She looks like liquid metal. Yeah, like it looks like if you touched her your like fingers would be wet. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, she looks like wet paint. Mm -hmm. I feel like the dress is actually cute. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I like the color. I just, the top is very like like matronly almost. Mm. This little cinched waist with the, like I feel like my grandmother would wear <laughs> something like that. Oh, and there she is with her boo, her and Rami Malek together on the carpet. That's the best thing too. If you can walk the carpet with your man, just mix the outfit look. You just gonna eat. I like his mouth. <laughs> okay, Caitlin Dever who was also in Booksmart with Beanie. My eyes, there's a lot to look at. I feel like she's such a beautiful, like tiny girl, and I feel like the dress is a little bit overwhelming for her. Mm -hmm. I love the puffy sleeves, yep. obviously, but the print is, I'm, I'm really not, I just want a color in it. <laughs> this dress is interesting. I think it looks a little too mature for her. I agree. I love the pattern and I love the sleeves, but I wish the dress was like shorter. I think what I like about it is that it gives me like formal gown vibes and I like any dress that, cause you don't like go into a store and see like a dress that epic. You very know? true, very it's true. It's like very over the top. Mm -hmm. Would I wear it? No, but I like it on the carpet. It brings out the red in the dress. That's you know? true. She has pockets in her dress. Yeah. I like that. I'm all for pockets. Pockets anywhere. Like it just makes life so much easier, especially like on the oh red gosh. carpet. Mm -hmm. She can put all her stuff in there. Yeah. Maybe that's why the dress is so big on the bottom. Love a oh, dress with pockets. The pockets though, now she can, I, cause she didn't have a purse in her pictures. No, now we're talking. So I, she's probably got her phone. She's got her, her phone, she's got, she's got some snacks. Some like, snacks. I mean, you can hide a lot of things in a dress that big. Every dress should have pockets. pockets. Oh, Sir Ronan. Sir Sharon. Looking like a goddess on the Golden Globes red carpet. I love this dress. I really like the fabric and I like how it reflects the light. I don't like the way it fits her. Yeah. Love this dress. I do too. Yeah. It's simple. I feel mm -hmm. like it's not a red carpet dress, mm -hmm. but I think it's really simple. I love a slit. I mm -hmm. think it's so sexy, so feminine. It looks a little frumpy. It looks like it's hanging oddly off her right side of her. It's like kind of mm. dangling. It looks a little loose around here. It's a little simple. It honestly, it feels too much like a, like a homecoming dress. Right off the bat, I was just like favorite of the night as soon as I saw it. It is glitter to the ground. Her glam is natural and beautiful and she dressed like a winner. She did and her hair, I don't know if it's the the globe, the gold orb in the back. It looks kind of yellow, like Lady Gaga-ish when she had that yeah. yellow wig. I like it though. I love this dress. I think it's beautiful. I love her hair too. It's styled really nicely mm -hmm. with the dress. 
But I agree with you. It's yeah. kind of not fitted I, correctly. It either needs to be cinched or looser, so that it's just like straight, like almost like twenties looking, you know, mm -hmm. with like no structure. But I think because it looks like it's like trying to cincher, but then it's not, it's confusing. When she was being interviewed, that little loose spot, there was like a really cute little side I boob. Do. Love oh. that. Don't okay, hate so is that back in? Are <laughs> side boobs in? I mean, her eyes are just popping. I love a good yeah. orange on a blue eye. Yes, she looks like a white walker. She really does. Mm. Up close, it's really pretty. Up close, it's stunning. Can you imagine Ooh. walking down the carpet getting photographed in this? It's probably like all bling. sparkly, glittery. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, see, all these dresses, when you get a close up of them, you mm -hmm. really see like the texture and the fabrics that were used. Yeah. And it look, I mean, I loved it before. I love it even more now. The sparkles really got me, so. I love sparkles. And again, if it looks like something that I could potentially go get at the mall. Yes. It just not, it's not interesting enough for me. And look at the back. You know the back is beautiful. so beautiful. It's cut out and I love that it's um, low right there. Yeah. But the front, man, it just needed to be tailored just a little bit more. Yeah, it's like it's snagging or something. Dang, you know what? She probably picked this dress last minute and they have time to tailor it. Huh? Shame. <sighs> Zoe Deutsch. I told you, the sleeves, man. Here comes the sun. Din, 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 when I say She's yellow. Da, 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 da. I love this dress. That's a lot of yeah. yellow. Mm -hmm. But she can pull it off. It's so different. I don't know. Maybe I'm forgetting, but I don't think I've ever seen a look like this. Zoe Deutsch is wearing something that's very weird, but she's very weird and she's pulling off this weirdness. I agree. I am normally not a huge fan of yellow, yeah. but on her, this looks great. She looks like the, the statue they, they're gonna be handing out. Maybe she thought if she looked like it, she'd win it. Oh. She is a golden globe. Look she at is. her, this yellow, this gold. It's so funny, I almost wore a pantsuit in this color tonight, but I was like, I don't think it's fancy enough. And again, with the puffy sleeves. The I'm long so here puffy for sleeves. Not even the shoulders are puffy, it's her long puffy yes. sleeves. I'm obsessed with what we're seeing with these sleeves. Mm -hmm. Like, how cool and structured are these freaking sleeves? Good. That could look really bad, and it could have, like, went over and looked all disfigured, no. but look how beautiful it falls down on her wrist. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love oh everything about this. Oh my gosh, this dress is stunning. I love the cut. Like we said, all the things you could hide up in those sleeves. That's a flask. A, a flask. <laughs> Girl. A small you, man. You got a small man. A wallet. She's very like businessy, but then when you get the full view, you get the yeah. puffiness. It's powerful. Like when she walked onto the carpet, mm -hmm. I think everybody just stared at her in a good way. Yeah, I agree. I think she looks amazing. And the necklace. It reminds me of the necklace from Titanic. It's the heart of the ocean. Right. The sleeves are huge and I freaking love them. And the I love the, the dip neck. Like I feel like yeah. that really adds to it because if it was a high neck, it would look so frumpy. It looked like she'd be like lost in it. Exactly. She looks like she's doing a little sexy, but sexy. it's not over the top. I think also I like that the fabric looks heavy and structure this thing. If you don't steam it, game over. I know, you can see the bottom is a little wrinkled. Don't look for a cobweb on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Jackie. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Joe Alwyn, Mr. Swift. Mr. Swift, I love that you put that in there. Um, I'm kind of underwhelmed by his outfit choice. I mean, this is the thing. He looks nice, he's a dude, he wore a suit with a bow tie. It's like Aww. very, it's what everybody wears. Yeah. Give me a Billy Porter, you know? Right. Something different. <laughs> I've seen this before, Bob. He always looks so classic, just classic Hollywood, like a young Leonardo DiCaprio, a young Brad Pitt. I just think he looks so amazing. Mm. Mm. Those buttons are so small and tight. I just, tight. there's nothing better than a man in a good fitted suit. Yeah. Like it has to be fitted or else you just look mm. like you borrowed your dad's. Yep. And this one, it just looks so nice. And I feel like, yes, maybe he could have gone for like velvet was a huge trend or a color, but I think he's like an understated gentleman. Yeah. And he just wanted to go with the classic top. But can we talk about, mm. he did get his makeup done. Look at those eyebrows. Someone definitely gelled those down for him. Yes. So I'm all about it. The mm -hmm. eyebrows are on point. They look good. So point. he killed that. He did. Very nice and a little swoop in his hair. I mean, he looks nice. He looks coiffed. He took a shower, put some cologne on. Mm -hmm. He got, you know, he got dressed up to go to the Globe. I'm getting Don Draper, Mad Men, the seriousness in his face, the eyes, the piercing, like, I know I'm sexy, hello yes. again. And like the hair, the coif, beautiful tux. I see I'm at why, a loss for words. I see why Taylor likes him. Honestly, over the last few years, I've always respected Taylor and Joe's relationship, and I've always been like, oh, okay, Joe Alwyn, he's cute, no. He's a snack. I think it's mm. deep navy, which I love even better. I love a navy suit on a man. Yeah. 
I mean, it brings out his eyes. Like, look at that smile. Jeez. Yeah, he shouldn't smile. You don't think? I don't know. He's more like mysterious. You want to be like dark and stormy yeah. and not like happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor Ooh. Swift. I love these colors. The colors are beautiful together. They really pop on the red carpet. She looks really beautiful. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Drew? I think I love the colors. Mm -hmm. I think she looks great. I can tell already, not even close up, that her makeup looks amazing. Mm -hmm. The style of the dress, I'm not crazy about. It's I was, the top of it that I don't like. I was just about to say, I feel like if they made the lining of the actual bottom of the skirt a little bit lower, mm -hmm. I feel like it cuts off her, her torso. Her torso. Yeah. I love the shape of the dress, but I just wish that the top was a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of like a very Hawaiian dress. Like a tropical fun moment. She's getting ready for the summer. I'm yes, <laughs> please. Because it's cold. I mean, it's not that cold in California, but this dress is growing on me. I mean, she looks great. She's wearing it well. Mm -hmm. It's the the flowers that I was just having a little hard time getting over. Yeah, I love the colors. I think that I navy and that yellow is really working together and I, I love the big flower print i feel like it's very kind of on theme with what she's doing with lover yeah, it's more happy true. she like came and served she's giving me like spring florals vibes and that's what i was thinking i was like is it too soon for the florals you because know what we're still in the dead of winter i feel like no everyone was wearing bright colors we had like tiffany haddish and priyanka chopra yeah. in bright pinks we have taylor in these bright colors like winter who i don't care <laughs> I, i'm on to spring bye winter <laughs> christmas happened we're good but i will say it's definitely original and it's not it's not boring, original. it's not dull, it's not just another red or black dress at right. the Golden Globes. It's different and it's popping and that's what's really cool. It's not my favorite look she's ever done, but oh. see, she looks really pretty up close. Her jewelry looks so nice. And her hair and her makeup. Up Eyebrows on oh, bleach. She looks so pretty. Eyebrows look good. This is the dress you picked when you're Jennifer Lopez? I don't hate it. It's no, like, you hate it. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm confused because like usually I see JLo and I'm like, girl, yes. But like this is like, huh. It's abstract, you know? I think it But it's not abstract in a good way. It's all over but the place. I don't think it's I don't think it's terrible. I think it's very like Wizard of Oz whimsical, you know? It's like we have like one, first of all, the, the bottom, the white part is like a little sheet like, okay, I'll give you that. It if looks like a sheet. If you just tear that out, tear the white off, well, and want, just keep the green and the gold. should be naked. No, this is, this is horrible. This is bad. I don't think girl. it's horrible. I think it doesn't like do her body justice. She reminds me of a Christmas present. <laughs> But I know what's underneath that because I watch Hustlers. Mm -hmm. So I know that's a present. Yes. Because it's J-Lo, I just think she looks amazing. I do, I mean, she has the most legendary red carpet looks. Mm -hmm. And this is just not her best for me. Like, I want to see skin. I want to see her tan body. I want to see everything. Give me more, J-Lo. It's too much. It's like frumpy, it's wrinkled, there's like seven bows, none of them are even, I don't know. I feel like one tug and she's naked. I agree, I just feel like they had all this fabric and they yeah. were like, okay, how can we what put do it we together? Do? <laughs> what do we do with it? Like, she has such a killer body and such a like a beautiful physique and she's hiding it under these layers of like frumpy fabric. Yeah. It's not good. It's, it's gonna be a no, no for me. That's a negative. JLo, I'm also, sorry. Did someone, okay, when we're talking about necklaces, hers is crooked. Can somebody scoot, fix that? Is it supposed Arr! to be crooked though? Is no. this fashion? No, that's not intentional. Okay. Um, okay, listen, nobody loves a good bow more than me. Love Hello Kitty. Here for a bow moment. <laughs> this this looks like messy wrapping paper. And she's, again, JLo, like, find me someone with a better body than JLo. I saw Hustlers. She is drowning in this dress, and she we is. don't get to see any I, of JLo's assets. I also really think she just climbed up on the tree, was like, A Rod, grab this. <laughs> she put it on, added some extra layers, was like, We're going to the Globes. All right, we have come to the end. Drew, which ones were your favorites? Okay, I have three. Joey King okay. killed it. Yeah. Totally. Billy Porter, we didn't see him, but he looked great. He had like Good. feathers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And honorable mention to my girl, Beyonce. Hey, Beyonce. <gasps> she didn't walk the carpet, but she did sneak in and we saw a glimpse of her in the front row and she looked mm. beautiful. True Beyonce fashion. Jackie favorites. My favorite, I feel like Joey King was the best. I feel like the dress was original. It was different. It was fun. Yeah. My favorite has to be Taylor Swift. And this is just so 
pretty. I love the floral print. I love the train. I love her hair and makeup. I love that sultry look she gives, the smoky eye. Everything is just so perfect about this look, and I don't think we've ever really seen Taylor in anything similar, so she's giving us something new and fresh and exciting. I love Zoe. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would. I'm not a big yellow person, but I love that on her. I think it looks so stunning. I love the back. It just looks so gorgeous. It's so just, it just looks perfect to me. I don't know. Like I've just never seen a dress like that before either mm -hmm. with like those big sleeves. I don't feel like a lot of people can like pull that off. I just feel like she comes off so powerful, so fierce. I love it. I'm gonna pick Zoe Deutsch mm -hmm. because it's like classic dress, but it's weird. She looks great in it. It feels like a Golden Go Globes dress. Like when you look on you Google, you say, Alexa, what does a Golden Globes <laughs> dress look like? They show you this picture. Yeah, I agree. Um, I love this one. I think my favorite is Beanie because Aww. she looks so stunning. She looks yeah. so confident in this dress. I absolutely love the color. I feel like it's really perfect for this time of year. I love the headband and the simple hair. I just think she absolutely killed it. Nailed it. Hands down, Zoe Deutsch, her entire outfit, just the yellow, yeah. the sleeves, the ruffles, I mean, and the accenting jewelry with the blue. It's just so... Oh, it just makes me think of summer, makes me happy. She <laughs> makes me so happy. Thank you, Zoe. I agree. My personal favorite was Sir Ronan, who yes. slayed in this silver, bedazzled sequin dress. I feel like she looks mature, she looks Hollywood, she looks glam, mm -hmm. and I need to figure out where to get a knockoff of a dress just like this because I need one. We're gonna need to tape you in though. You gotta <laughs> yeah, a yeah, little bit side, more show The side boob <laughs> might not work for me. <laughs> okay, guys, those are some of our favorite looks from the Golden Globes red carpet, but let us know which ones were your faves. Comment section below. Yeah, and are you gonna be like me and go shopping ASAP and buy all the shirts with the puppy sleeves? Because that's what I'm gonna do. If you are, Subscribe. Have to. And if you are buying puppy sleeves, like this video. Do it. All and the... comment below if you like puppy sleeves. <laughs> all the puppy sleeves. You guys, your laundry is now dirty. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, you guys, that was so much fun. There was so much fashion, so many served looks. And if you want some more of that, you can click right over here. You guys, that's a new year, so resolutions to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? It can be your resolution. You could be done right now. Click it. Click it.